Hey everybody, it's Roy from Marvel 12 and EpicDroid.com with a super quick video showing you guys how to root the Nothing Phone 3. The Nothing Phone 3 is an awesome device and it has great functionality already built into it, but every phone can use just a little bit more and that's where root access comes in. With root access, you're able to do so much more with your device and we're going to show you guys how to be able to do that here today. Now, there's a couple of things you're going to need. The first thing you're going to need is a Nothing Phone 3 with an unlocked bootloader. If you haven't done it already, hit the link in the video description down below that'll show you how to unlock the bootloader of your Nothing Phone 3. You'll also need a computer. I am using a PC running Windows. Yes, this process can be completed on a Mac or on Linux. And then I'm assuming you already have it because you've got an unlocked bootloader, but you should have a working install of ADB and Fastboot. And last but not least, you need a USB cable that you can plug into your phone and your computer. So the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure that we do have USB debugging enabled. So to do that, you're going to go into your settings. We're going to go all the way down to system. We're going to go into developer options. In developer options, we're going to scroll on down. And we're going to check to make sure USB debugging is enabled. Now again, this probably will be enabled already because you should have already unlocked your bootloader. So once we've gone ahead and checked our USB debugging, we're going to go back two times. We're going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of settings and we're going to hit about phone. In there, we're going to hit our nothing OS option here at the top. And we're going to double check our build number. So go ahead and keep that screen up and set your phone off to the side. We are then going to go over to the computer here and we are going to navigate to this GitHub page. This is from a user Spike0EN. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right, but they have compiled a public repository of all of the different nothing phones, the firmware for those phones, as well as several other things for them. Now we are going to go ahead and we're going to scroll all the way down here. We're going to scroll, 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 keep scrolling. There's a lot of important information in here. Definitely recommend checking that out if you have the time. But we're going to scroll all the way down here to this little option here under Downloads. Under Nothing, there's Phone 3 Metroid. Metroid is the code name for the device. And then you're going to take your phone and you're going to compare the build number on your device to the build numbers listed in this second column here. Now apparently an update has been released that I have not received on my phone yet, so I'll have to update that here later. But for now, I'm going to come over here to this version here. So it's the 250801-1847. I'm going to hit this option for OTA images right here going to pull up a new page and in that page I'm going to scroll down to the one that says Metroid version 3.5250801-1847 image boot dot 7z. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. It's going to start downloading it for me here. Now one quick thing to point out is that this is a 7-zip file so when you are opening it you should be using 7-zip. I'll have a link for that in the description down below. Now you may get a warning here saying it's a suspicious download. I have downloaded this about 10 times now which is why I think it's getting flagged on my system. Um, however, I have not had any issues with it so far. So then you're going to hit download suspicious file. Once it's all done, you can go ahead and you can click on it. Find the item in there that is init underscore boot. We're going to go ahead and we're going to copy that to our desktop. So once it's copied to the desktop, I'm going to leave it here for just one second. And I'm going to go back to that page. And we're going to grab the name here of the build. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to come back over to my desktop. And I'm going to rename the file with that as a prefix. So instead of just being init underscore boot dot img, I'm going to drop that whole build number in front of it. That way I can identify it easily and I don't accidentally flash the wrong one at a later date. So now I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to plug my phone in. It's going to pop up a little message here. You're going to want to say charging this device via USB. You're going to tap that and you're going to change it to file transfer. Once it's on file transfer, it should pop up your device here on your desktop. And I'm just going to grab that file from the desktop and copy it over to my phone. Just copying it here to that directory right at the front. And then we're going to pull out our phone and we're going to go to Chrome. And I've already got the link pulled up, but I'll have a link for this in the video description down below for you guys. And this link will take you to the GitHub repo for the Magisk app made by Top John Woo. This app is the best way to root your device and it makes the process super easy. So we're going to scroll on down here to the download section. We're going to hit the first link for GitHub. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to tap on Magisk version 30.2 or whatever version is the most recent version as you are using this process. And then we're going to scroll down a little bit to the assets. In the assets, you'll see the first one is app debug APK. Just ignore that one and hit the one that says Magisk v30.2. To APK. Once it's done downloading, you're going to hit the open button here, a tap on that. It might pop up this little warning saying that for your security, your phone currently isn't allowed to install unknown apps. All you got to do is go into settings, hit allow from this source, and it should automatically pop up that install option. Once that's done, you're going to hit open. In Magisk, you're going to say yes, you want to allow notifications. And then you're going to hit this option here at the top that says install Magisk. And you're going to do select and patch a file. Here's the file I saved on here earlier. We're going to tap on that and then we're going to hit let's go. It's going to install it to that file. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unplug the device and plug it back in. You may not have to do that step, but for whatever reason, my computer never seems to recognize new files whenever I do this process. So I've found that this is the quickest and easiest way. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna do charging this device via USB again, change it back to file transfer. It's gonna pop up on your computer. And here we see the original boot image. And if you go into download, you'll see the one that is Magisk patched. And what it means by patched is that the Magisk root method was added to it so that when you flash this boot image, your device will automatically be rooted. So then we're gonna go ahead and copy that to the desktop. And then something I like to do here again is I like to take the full file name from the other boot image, the one that we named earlier, this one here. I like to take that one and I like to place that in front of the Magisk patched name. So I get a full long prefix. So these two files are always tied together and I can always tell the difference. If you ever need to unroot, you would just go ahead and you would flash the original one without the magic prefix on it or magic suffix. So now that we have those files easily labeled, we are going to go ahead and we're going to pull up a command prompt, hit the run command, windows and run, type CMD. In the command prompt, you're going to navigate to the location of your platform tools or ADB tools. And then you are going to make sure that your device is recognized by typing ADB devices. It automatically recognizes my device, so that means everything is good to go there. And I am going to type ADB Reboot Bootloader. And this is going to reboot us into the bootloader. And once it's in the bootloader, you're going to go ahead and you're going to type out another command. And what we're going to do is we're going to type fastboot flash init underscore boot. So that's telling Fastboot that we want to flash something to the init underscore boot partition. And so then the easiest way to do this in Windows is you can take that rooted version, that Magisk patched one, and you can just drag it right into here. And it's going to paste the path for you so you don't have to type the whole thing out. If you want to type it out, you can. But for me, this one's super easy and makes it nice and quick for you. So once you've got that all typed out, we're going to go ahead and we're going to hit enter. It's going to flash it. You're going to get a message here that says init underscore boot was flashed. It's going to tell you how quick it flashed it. And... It looks like it's good to go. So we're gonna type fast boot, reboot. And then we're gonna hit enter, which will reboot the device back to the standard mode. We're gonna wait for it to finish rebooting. Once it's done rebooting, we're gonna unlock our phone. You'll see a new app added there. It's the Magisk app. If you tap it and open it, you'll see that yes, you are now rooted. So congratulations, you are now rooted and you are good to go. You can enable Zygisk, you can install other modules, you can do all sorts of different things that you can't do with an unrooted device. It really opens a lot of functionality and opens up a lot of options for you that you don't normally have. If you guys ever want to unroot, like I was saying earlier, all you gotta do is you gotta do the same process, but instead of using the Magisk patch boot image, you're going to just go ahead and you're going to use the unpatched boot image or that original one. So again, all in all, super easy process, super straightforward. If you guys have any questions about it or anything you've seen in this video, please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section down below and we'll reply as soon as we're available. If you've enjoyed this video, if you wanna see more like it, please remember to give us a thumbs up and to share it with your friends. And as always, just wanna tell you guys, thank you for watching, thank you for all your support, and you all have an awesome day.